that's going to be Gosh, a but go on then. for a while. But if we look at the overall uh, campaign and take a more bird's eye view, it's, I think, an open question right now whether this will make much difference in the overall outcome. And I say that because if you look at polls, for example, that compare January and September in terms of the standing of the two candidates, um, it's remarkable how stable the uh, voters' views of particularly Trump have been. He's the in modern polling history, never to have a fear of 50% of his approval rating. Yet, at the same time, his base of about 40% has remained remarkably strong and uh, absolutely behind him. And uh, if you go further back than that, I think to 2017 in a theoretical matchup between Biden and Trump, the lead that Biden has mommy. now is the same that was in that poll uh, three years ago. So um, the reason is that we have an incumbent president going for re-election. And in these situations, almost always, it's a referendum on that president. And this is a president who, uh, about when most voters have already made up their minds. And so, bar a catastrophic you turn of in terms of his... For the walk. It, it still remains yeah, to be seen how much of an effect this will have on the election outcome. Can I just... Yeah. Okay, Thomas Kenny, go. Yeah, big, big, big. What I'd like to add to it, though, which makes me more uncertain about the whole story, is that... The